You're in here while I'm getting ready, okay? Let's do this. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to put back some makeup. I've been doing press all day, so my face was looking a little tired, but I kept my eyes because I really like what Vera, my makeup artist, did to it. I am really into toners. I was never before into toners, but sometimes it really freshens up my skin. So I like to just start out with that, preferably while I'm not talking, so I won't inhale it all. So we're gonna start with my, my moisturizer. It keeps my skin from breaking out, from over drying my skin, but also it keeps my skin from becoming too dewy as well. It's really good to decompress with a nice little face moisturizing massage. Huh. I do this twice a day, I think it's important. I've always had a deep appreciation for a skin routine, and it's sort of like it's always been my time. It doesn't matter, even when I was in my 20s and I was just, you know, coming home from partying, I always made time to do this. Oh, and one thing I've learned also from just friends, that it's very important to moisturize your neck. It's something we tend to forget and leave behind, but I have a very long neck, you can't miss it. <laughs> And taking care of it has been also an active practice in my life lately. I don't really know how to put on, you know, makeup that's just not basic. So I tend to like a very natural look and I'm just like with the essentials of just a concealer. I have discovered this line called On Trail. They are a women-owned business, organic, and they're also sustainable. So everything about what they stand for is right up my alley. Because I'm looking a little tired today, I'm just gonna go a little heavy on the concealer because if I don't like it, I can always you know, take some off. And I'm a finger person. I really like using my fingers and working things around on my face. this concealer is that I can wear it all over my skin and depending on the season if I'm a little more tanned then I will go a shade darker and if I'm a little if it's the winter um, I'll go uh, I will go a shade lighter and all of these tones really work oh here we go so sometimes if my skin isn't looking super great I tend to I like to use the Laura Mercier secret camouflage very lightly and I tend to feel that a natural kind of look is better on my kind of face. Once that's done, I go to the blush and I'm using this uh, one called Rare Beauty. It's, it's the line that's by Selena Gomez. I'm a huge fan of it. Also, I have the kind of skin that absorbs all of the makeup that I put on it. So this is always in my bag. My sister has always told me, like, I mean, your cheeks are flaming hot. Can you just please tone it down on the blush? Because I'm a blushing girl. Now that this is done, I like using a little bronzer. My items are very easy. I don't overbuy. I don't overdo things. I am a mom of three rambunctious, adorable, perfectly terrible little boys that give me very little time to do things. So I, I hit these spots because I've also seen people on Instagram do it, and I'm trying, but I've always been like a tip of the nose kind of gal. I like sort of like hitting it up here. I tend to feel like it really opens up and brightens up my eyes. Right here, there we go. Hmm. And I'm very simple when it comes to, uh, to my lips. It's either a red lipstick that's, that screams like BAM in your face or just like a little tint. And the Claren ones, it just it reminds me of the early 2000s when these are super common. Something really small. It just warms up your lip. Then we move on to removing all the excess base foundation from my lip. And then to finish it off, a great moisturizer. I just like the sensation of 
my lips feeling really moisturized. And there you have it. This is my date night look. I hope Marco likes it too, because I'm okay with it. <laughs>